FA1 Part A Introduction to Transaction Accounting Chapter 1 Business Transactions and Documentation The topics that this presentation will cover are Types of Transactions What is a business? A business is separate from its owner. Documenting Business Transactions Invoices and Credit Notes Discounts, Rebates and Allowances Sales Tax Storage and Information Data Protection 1. Types of Transactions There are two main types of transactions. Cash and Credit Cash A cash transaction is when a buyer pays cash to a seller at the time the goods and or services are being transferred. Credit a credit transaction is when a sale or purchase happens sometime before the seller is paid or payment is received. 2. What is a business? The purpose of a business is to make a profit. The effort put into the business needs to be worth the profit that is received. A business exists to deal in the manufacture, resale or supply of goods and services. A business uses resources to create goods, and or services which will add value to customers or clients. A business provides jobs for people to work in. A business invests money in resources, for example, it buys buildings and pays employees, in order to make more money for the owners. 3. A business is separate from its owner. A business is a separate entity from its owner. For accounting purposes, it is important to keep businesses' assets and liabilities separate from assets and liabilities of the owners, the proprietors. By separate entity, we mean that we treat the business as a separate person. 4. Documenting Business Transactions Business transactions are supported by internal and external documentation. The amount of documentation used will vary, depending on the type of transaction, and the people involved. External Documentation If you buy a small item and pay for it with cash, it is unlikely that any documents would change hands except maybe for a receipt from the till. If you buy a large item, for example, have central heating installed. First you will need to contact the central heating company via either orally, or telephonic, or email, or web page, or letter of inquiry, requesting the service. You will then receive a quotation. Should you accept the quotation, you will need to send the business a letter, or email accepting the quote. You should then receive a sales order and acknowledgement. When the central heating has been installed you will receive a delivery note to sign. The delivery note is the business's evidence of the work done. The business will then send you a bill or invoice. You will then pay the business either by EFT, or debit order, or direct deposit, or check. Once the business has received your payment, they will record it in their accounting books. A diagram illustrating the process of external documentation is on page 8 of your interactive text study guide. Take this opportunity to answer the questions on page 9 of your interactive text study guide. Internal documentation Internal documents include the following. Purchase orders Inventory lists Supplier lists Staff schedules Goods received notes Invoices Documents to show payment by, EFT, or debit order, or direct deposit, or check. Expense claims. The reasons for the documentation. The business needs to keep track of, who owes them money, and to whom they owe money. The business needs to make sure, it has enough cash, at the right time. The business needs to compare, what they earn, to what it costs, to see if they are making a profit. A diagram summarizing the internal documentation is on page 11 of your interactive text study guide. Accounting Systems Accounting Systems, Records, summarizes and presents information, in documents made by transactions. In this chapter, invoices and credit notes are explained, and used as examples, of the sort of accounting information contained in business documentation. 5. Invoices and Credit Notes Invoices and credit notes are important documents, which need to contain specific information. 
An invoice is made, as soon as there is a sale or purchase. Not all invoices known as invoices, are invoices on credit terms, they may need to be settled immediately. What does an invoice show? These are the items normally found on an invoice. Name and address of seller. Name and address of buyer. Invoice number, so the business can keep track of all invoices sent out. Date of transaction. Description. Quantity and unit price. Total amount of invoice including sales tax, VAT. Delivery address. Some businesses want the goods delivered to somewhere other than their own premises. Referencing. A business keeps a record of its orders. They put an order number on the invoice, so that the person receiving the invoice knows which order relates to the invoice. Unit price. Sometimes goods are sold in batches, then under the unit price column will be the price per batch for example 60 rands for 20. The amount of the invoice is calculated normally. Other information often found on invoices. Sometimes, date by which payment is due and other terms of sale, are shown on an invoice. Net 30 days means that payment is due 30 days after date of delivery. FOB means free on board and may be found on import or export invoices. FOB shipping point, means that the supplier will pay all carriage fees till the point of shipping, after that point, the customer will have to pay any other carriage cost incurred. X works, means the price excludes the cost of delivery. E and OE, stands for errors and omission accepted. This means that the supplier reserves the right to make changes to the details on an invoice should the details at a later date, prove to be incorrect. Invoice Copies A business may make the use of four copies of an invoice. 1. Sent to purchaser. 2. Kept as a file copy. 3. Delivery note sent to customer for signature and then retained by seller. 4. Advice notice signed and kept by purchaser. Sale order sets. Another common approach is to use multi-part sale order sets. 1. Sent to the customer. 2. Sent to the warehouse. 3. Kept in the sales department. 4. Passed to accounts. 5. Sent with goods as a delivery note. 6. Sent with goods as a advice note. 7. Kept in warehouse. Purchase order sets. Multi part purchase order sets follow the same pattern as sale order sets. 1. Sent to supplier. 2. Kept in purchasing department or warehouse. 3. Accounts department. Credit notes. A credit note is used by a seller to cancel part or all of previously issued invoice or invoices. Credit notes can be treated as negative invoices. A customer may want a credit note because The goods received were not what was ordered. The goods received were of an inferior quality. An incorrect amount was charged on the invoice. Other documents connected to sales and purchases. Debit note A debit note is issued by a customer requesting credit note. Or by a supplier, instead of issuing an invoice will issue a debit note, to adjust up an amount, of an invoice already issued. Goods Received Note Goods Received Notes, GRN, are filled in to record receipt of goods. E-commerce Trading on the Internet, cuts out many of the traditional documents used, and saves time. The growth of e-commerce has increased the volume of debit and credit card transactions. 6. Discounts, Rebates and Allowances A discount, is a reduction in price of goods below the amount it is normally sold. There are two kinds of discount. A trade discount, which is a reduction in the cost of goods. A cash, settlement, discount, which is a reduction in the amount payable to a supplier. Accounting for trade discounts. If a trade discount is received from a supplier, the amount to pay will be the normal sales value less the discount. If a trade discount is allowed to a customer, the amount to be received will be the normal sales value less the discount. Accounting for cash discounts. 
Taking a cash discount is a matter of financing policy, not of trading policy, because the cash discount is optional. Cash discount received. By receiving a cash discount, a certain amount of money is saved. The decision to take the discount is up to the company. The company needs to decide if it is worth it, to pay the debt sooner, or employ the cash more usefully, and pay the debt at a more acceptable time. Cash discount allowed. It might be worthwhile to receive an amount of cash now as you may be able to earn more in interest than you would lose by offering the discount. If your business is in a risky financial position, your bank manager might be happier to see money now rather than later. If you are concerned that a customer's financial position is insecure, accepting less cash now, rather than more later means that at least the money received is securely yours now. Businesses may be offered other kinds of discounts as incentives, to encourage them to buy bulk, or stop them from buying from other businesses. Rebates and allowances don't affect the cash function to a great extent. 7. Sales Tax In South Africa, sales tax is known as VAT, Value Added Tax. Output tax, is charged on sales. Input tax, is incurred on purchases. Input and Output Sales Tax If the output tax is more than the input tax, the amount is paid to government, SARS. If the output tax is less than the input tax, the amount is refunded from the government. 8. Storage and Information There is a constant demand for information from within the business from managers, requesting the following information. Records, of past and current transaction. Information about past trends and current operations. Routine transaction information. Information about performance. Others outside the business who are entitled to information. Others involved in the business's transactions. Parties interested in the financial performance of the business. Outside agencies wanting information for surveys, or their own activities. Information on personal or interpersonal level include. Details relevant to inquires or complaints. Information to the business about an employee. Information to employees about the business. In the accounts department, the main type of information which requires handling and storage are Incoming correspondence Outgoing correspondence Financial records Files of data may be temporary, permanent, active, and non-active. Master files and reference files are usually permanent. A temporary or transitory file, is a file that will eventually get scrapped. An active file is one that is frequently used. A non-active file is one that is no longer used on a daily basis. Semi-active files are files that contain information that's still active, but is on their way to becoming inactive. Retention Policy A company's retention policy sets down how long different kinds of information are retained. Information that is no longer needed on a daily basis, is not automatically thrown away. It is generally dealt with in one of the following ways. Microfilmed or microfiched for long-term storage. Retained in its original form but stored elsewhere, known as archiving, for a certain period of time. Securely destroyed. 9. Data Protection. Information stored about individuals is regulated by data protection legislation. Personal data is information about a living individual including facts and expressions of opinion about him or her. Business data is not personal unless it is about its members. An individual must be identifiable from the data whether by name or code number, say an employee number. Quick Quiz Question 1. What is a business's prime objective? Question 2. Define profit. Question 3. How does the accounting view of the relationship between a business and its owner differ from the strictly legal view? Question 4. What type of document would a business raise to give a customer a price for something? Question 5. Why should a business raise a good received note? Question 6. What is an invoice? Question 7. What information is usually shown on an invoice? Question 8. What does E and OE on an invoice mean? Question 9. 
what is input tax and what is output tax?